BK here, y'all, for a different type of video than normal. I am uh, about to be pulling up at Mud, I mean Mud Duck's house, and we're going to be taking a nice little trip up to uh, Mr. D Rail's uh, establishment, which is uh, Wolfman CB. Now, it's always pretty easy to find mud digs on the mud duck's house because all I gotta do is look for the house where it's got a couple of vehicles with long antennas on it. Let's see here. Dang, I've already passed it. I don't think so. I think it's coming up there. It is. Well, there's only two. Two, only two of his vehicles are here with the antennas. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go up to D-Rail uh, D-Rail's establishment. Uh, and uh, I've never been. That's why, mainly. I've never been up there and checked them out. I'm a big uh, fan of D-Rail. And uh, I think it would be pretty a uh, pretty cool experience to go up there and check out his establishment. And maybe purchase a couple of items as well. So I guess we're going in the old blue truck. Maybe I'll get to shoot a little bit of skip too. Thank you. Uh, what's up, bud? Think any skips rolling this morning? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, man. So we're gonna go get to check out uh, D Rail's establishment, huh? <coughs> Dang. <coughs> Well, it needs a little bit of WD, don't it? Uh, it's, got some, it's got some vitamin D. <laughs> Looks like he had a mount right here at one point, or antenna right here at one point. But he's working with the uh, custom-made quad electromagnetically coupled. Is that a 102 or? A 102. 102. All right, man, what kind of amplifier are we running this morning? The GK4? God dang, man. Oh, I'm about six foot five. This thing go, go back, back anymore. Nope. Shoot! I'm going to have to ride this uncomfortable the whole goddamn time. I be, I'll get there fast. Oh, shoot. That's, well, the, one you, that's the one you redone. Oh, okay. That's the 454 four pin. Tell them what I got here. A rare. What is that? Take a 148F. 148F. That's pretty cool. Alright, we won't be doing no talking this morning. Hey, whoever that was coming old back to gatekeeper, come on back again. I think you said mailman or something. Old gatekeeper out here in this mobile in Georgia listening. Arizona with your morning mail, here I come. I think you said you're coming out of Arizona if you're talking old gatekeeper out here in this pick 'em up truck mobile in Georgia. Come on, bud. Hey, I appreciate it, mailman. Just letting you know you jumped up on the video right here, my friend. Hey, mailman, you jumped up on a little video right here I'm recording today. We headed out to D-Rail's shop out here, man. Hey, mailman, it's your buddy, Mr. Gatekeeper, out here in Georgia. Alright, mailman, Mr. Gatekeeper, Mr. Mailman, old gatekeeper in the mobile with his four 454s. Bye-bye. Alright, bye-bye. Be careful in that mobile, no doubt. Alright, we ain't doing too well with Skip, are we? Mother Nature just ain't in our favor. We did get out to Arizona, and I think a guy out there around uh, Yorkshire... England, I believe it was, was hearing me, but this, uh, this, this, this truck is so loud, man. Slow your way down, dude. Oh, it's beat up. I, no, I said slow down. I'd rather get there in one piece. This thing truck's so small. It's like I'm drive, riding in a tin can with wheels on it. Got a little ways to go. About another 25, 30 miles. 
tell you uh, one thing. I definitely probably couldn't catch a, a nap riding in this truck. How you doing? Slow down, man. I do what? Man, now I'm gonna have to fucking edit that out, dude. You're always cussing in my videos, man. Thanks. Alrighty, we're rolling up at old D-Rail's place. So this is the old famous Wolfman CB shop, huh? Guess what's the D-Rail's truck? There's a jacked up truck, is that? That's D-Rail's tower in the back. A jacked up truck? Right there's his antenna and tree. What one kind of freaking tower is that? One you can walk in. Goodness gracious love. That's going up at his house. You know I'm coming. This is what a real shop looks like. Oh man, what's going on? What's going on? Feeling all right? Yeah. Bang on, something's not right. What makes this laptop right here? Somebody call it ROG. What? You see this laptop? that you control the whole station because the earlier you hit the stage the better you have control of everything right and i kept doing this and i had this like a two tube 250b and i had a, a variable bias i had a high and low i had a variable on it i had a variable grid bias too you know all, all just like everything you can imagine for variables to control this little mm -hmm. free drive that drove everything else and nothing was ever stable none of these boxes i ever had nothing was just smooth as butter and stable like i wanted it and I said, why not do it? I said, why not just do this with the radio? And then I figured out a way I could, you know, design inside the radio to actually control the full output independent of audio. A lot of people like even on Yeah, I guess farm, I didn't think about that before that, like that, 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 that you, you can get it the, the exact ratio you want it. Exactly, everything I want. Like, so I can take this same radio, and you know, what you already seen before, but I can take a, you know, striker, and if I wanted it to go that low, or if I designed it to go that low, I can make it do four watts PEP. You know, I can make it key one watt swing to four. Or it can go all the way up to anywhere I want to go to, you know, right. uh, wherever I, you know, wherever I set it. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about it like that. That, that, that puts a new light on. I mean, BBI loves it, you know, he calls me all the time. He's like, man, I got this one radio on my bench now, and it replaced all six of my other radios. I can do anything I want with that striker. He said, I can't even tell you how convenient that is when I say, okay, I need 90 watts. 90 watts. See, that, that's <laughs> Boom, the, you know, it's right well, there exactly what drive I need. What's to the most peak you can get out of it? Maybe maybe 130, 140 watts, you know, something like that. Yeah, that, that's the next radio I'm needing. But but if you take, say, a Mod, a mod V, Texas Star, that does 140 watts peak, and then you put that on a spectrum analyzer driven by any radio out there, it'll never be as clean as that striker was at that same 130, 140 watts peak either. So it's, it's very advantageous starting with something that's that versatile but that clean at the same point, you know, so it's, right. you know, it's nice. That's, that's amazing. And then obviously no extra jumper and all that stuff that goes along with all that stuff. For, for, for what I'm doing, like the same what BBI doing, is that all I would need with that? Uh, that I mean, radio? If, you really, if you wanted full control, you would want to do the tune, the finals, uh, bird and peak, you know, then you got everything. You know, right. have your carrier control, you'll have your average control, you'll have your peak control, you'll have the finals to get you the headroom to get as much power as you need. Uh, you know, then you can go anywhere in between on any of them. And you don't need a version one. A version two, I can actually get a little bit better output out of the version. So, it was great to be able to visit D-Rail's establishment over there at the Wolfman CB shop. I honestly have been wanting to stop by there for probably... 10 years, 9, 10 years. 
I've uh, pretty much known who D-Rail was ever since I got into this hobby. And what always astonished me about him and his brother is they're, they were young. <laughs> Sorry, somebody's calling me. Hopefully they didn't pick up. They were younger people, um, younger than me. And I was one of the youngest guys I knew in the hobby around me. But uh, I'm one of those type of builders, hobbyists that tries to stay as neutral as I possibly can. There's always going to be someone out there that doesn't like someone for this reason, that reason. I view people from my own eyes and from my own dealings with them. I've ever, never had a problem with derail. Any type of business dealings I've had with them has always been straight up, straight to the point. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the fellow, man. They've, they've got a great uh, establishment over there, very professional. And me and old Mud Duck, aka 409, took a trip. I just thought I'd record, so I hope y'all uh, enjoyed it. And uh, you know who it is, it's old GK, the old gatekeeper out here around the northeast end of GA. Hope to be able to bring y'all a lot more cool videos here coming up in the future. We got a lot planned, so you know what you need to do. Stay tuned in. Old gatekeeper, God bless, and I'm good. And I'm gone, but not forever. I will be back.